homage to Our Lady. Mother made all holy, throned upon thy knee, evermore the almighty child and Lord we see. While with awe thou gazest on the wondrous face, blessed among all women, Mary, full of grace. We bow in homage and adoration to thee, our Heavenly Mother, Queen of the Heavens, Star of the Sea, Guardian of We greet thee and thine angel hosts, shedding beauty and blessing among men and in nature. May we serve thee in our fellow men. <clears throat> o Holy Lady, Mother of the world, Queen of love and compassion, with all our hearts we pour out our love and devotion at thy feet, and we offer ourselves as channels of thy wondrous tenderness, as agents of thine ever-ready help. We pray thee to use us in thy holy work, that we may grow like thee, our glorious Mother. O Holy Mother, Queen of our hearts, we dedicate our lives to thy service. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Angels and archangels, now around the maid, where the world's creator on her knees is laid, where she worships o'er him, God and man in one, son of highest heaven, Mary's royal son. Amen.
the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Purify me that I may worthily perform the service in the strength of the Lord, do I repel all evil from this his holy altar and sanctuary, and from this house wherein we worship him. And I pray our Heavenly Father that he will send his holy angel to build for us a spiritual temple through which his strength and blessing may be poured forth upon his people through Christ our Lord. Brethren, let us now lay the foundation of our temple. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. We are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Except the Lord build the house, their labor is but lost that building. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. O Lord, thou hast created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O Lord, hast made us for thyself and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections, and pardon all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light, and become the unspotted mirror of thy power, and the image of thy goodness, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
praise and with prayer shall our temple be built. To God alone be the glory. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord Christ, alone born of the Father. O Lord God, indwelling light, Son of the Father, whose wisdom mightily and sweetly ordereth all things. Pour forth thy love, thou whose strength upholdeth and sustaineth all creation, receive our prayer. Thou whose beauty shineth through the whole universe, unveil thy glory. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. O Christ our Holy Lord, who in this wonderful sacrament of the altar 
has given unto us the grace of thy perpetual presence and an abiding memorial of thy surpassing love. Grant us so to receive this thy most precious gift, that our hearts may be pure in thy sight and our lives ever dedicated to thy service, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Almighty God, who art the strength of them who put their trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, we commend to thy fatherly goodness those who are afflicted with this pandemic in our midst. And we pray thee to strengthen and bless those who minister to them through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise thee, O Lord, for the example and assistance given to us by thy holy martyr, St. Alvin, the patron of our church, throughout the world, and we pray thee that under his protection, thy church may continually serve thee in all good works, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Christ, who for her wondrous humility and purity hath exalted the Holy Lady Mary among the hosts of heaven, Grant that we, thy people, may so follow that her most noble example, that we may at the latter end be found worthy to serve thee, even as do thy holy angels, thou who livest and reignest in glory forevermore. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, with all our hearts, we praise thee for the great glory of thy most holy archangel, Saint Michael, and all thy holy angels, we thank thee for their wonderful wisdom, their supreme strength, their radiant beauty, and as their resistless power is used always and utterly in thy service, so may we, following zealously their resplendent example, devote ourselves wholly to the helping of our brethren, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy light in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into an understanding of thy laws that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. to the Corinthians, beginning at the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye do drink it in remembrance of me. For as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Here ended the epistle. Thanks be to God. He that loveth wisdom, loveth light, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statute, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. The path of the just is as the shining light, shining more and more 
and choose a perfect day. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O God, who by the hand of thy servant did cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal from thy altar. And in thy loving kindness, so purify me that I may worthily proclaim thy holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that through my heart the love of God may shine forth, and through my lips his power be made manifest. Amen. The Holy Gospel is taken from the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 47th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. sacrament of the altar, which is our central act of worship 
and which has been from the foundation of the church 2,000 years ago. And as Catholic Christians, we look at this sacrament as a most uh, important gift that has been given to us by our Lord Christ, who, who said, Lo, I am with you even unto the end of the age. We believe that this is how our Lord prescribed that his abiding presence could be with us in a very special way. Of course, God's presence is with us all, universally. But our Lord made provision for this very special channel and method where he can be with us in a very real and mystical way. This, in the Eastern Church, in the Orthodox Church, they speak of the sacraments in terms of mysteries. And I've said a number of times before that a mystery from the Greek word means that which is hidden. But it also implies that which is yet to be revealed. And so many of the doctrines of the church, many of the ideas put forth in the Gospels and the Epistles are mysteries in a very real sense. And it takes a mystical understanding in order for them to be open to us. So this great mystery of the body and blood of Christ is for each one of us something we must approach by faith. Because we approach it not with the mind, but with the heart. Now, our Protestant brethren believe that the Lord's Supper is basically just a symbol of the body and blood of Christ, and, and that's fine for those who believe that. But according to Catholic understanding, during the consecration of the bread and the wine, Christ actually very really and objectively becomes present, present in the sacrament. And this great gift, again, as I said, is something that Christ has given us as a means to, to continue his presence amongst us. The institution of this festival, this solemnity, as a feast in the Christian calendar, resulted from approximately 40 years of work on the part of Juliana of Liege, a 13th century Norbertine canonist. And she longed for the day that a feast outside of Lent would be instituted by the church celebrating the Holy Eucharist. You know, on Monday Thursday, we celebrate the establishment of this most holy sacrament of the altar. But because we're in the midst of the most solemn season, Lent, and the following day is the most solemn day of the calendar, uh, that of Good Friday, commemorating the crucifixion of Christ, somehow some of the grandeur and glory of the Blessed Sacrament is, is I, I don't want to say is lost, but it is, it's not exemplified. And therefore, this festival that we celebrate today is set aside to celebrate the joy of our reception of the body and blood of Christ. The liturgy explains how this great act of worship is itself a mystery drama reenacting in time and space the primal sacrifice of the Logos, the incarnation or descent into matter of the second person of the Blessed Trinity. And this may help us to understand this great mystery if we realize that our own bodies are vehicles or expressions of our consciousness, of the indwelling spirit, so that the bread and wine which nourish our bodies become here the special expression and manifestation of the Christ, the channel of his blessing, 
and in a very mystical way, we take Christ in, and he becomes a part of us. So not only is the bread and the wine transformed, but in our reception of the sacrament, ideally, we also are transformed. We use the term communion, which comes from a Latin word, which means together, one. That's the root meaning of the word. And so when we say we are in communion, we are one. And through this sacrament, we find our oneness not only with God, but with our fellows in this experience we call life. We have the privilege of receiving the sacrament and carrying Christ within our own hearts to the world in which we live. May we be worthy of the task of portion to it. And now unto God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three persons in one God, be ascribed as his most justly do, all light, majesty, power, and dominion, now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Let us continue our worship with the act of faith. We believe that God is love and power and truth and life, that perfect, perfect justice rules the world, that all his son shall one day reach his feet, however far they stray. We hold the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. We know that we do serve him best when best we serve our brother man, and so shall his blessing rest on us and peace forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit.
Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people and breathe for them. Breathe for them. Upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting faith. Brethren, we have built the temple for the distribution of Christ's power. Now let us prepare a channel for its reception, and to that end, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at thy hand and sanctify our lives and his servants. May before thee, O Lord, these thy creatures of bread and wine, linking them spiritually with ourselves, and praying thee to receive through them our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. May our strength be spent in thy service, and our love pour forth upon thy people, thou who livest forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right, so to do. It is very meet and right when our down in duty. That we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with thrones, dominations, princes, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are for thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, for his honor be the highest. O Lord, these celebrations have served as tokens and channels of our love and devotion toward thee, but now we pray thee to receive, to purify, and to hallow them as earthly channels of thy wondrous power. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice, especially for thy holy Catholic Church. For Donald Trump, the President of these United States, and all that are put in authority under him. For all our bishops, clergy, and faithful, for those here present, and for all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially
more again about to enter this earthly life in the portal of birth, and likewise for their mothers to be, especially for all. Likewise, we offer for all those thy children whom it hath pleased thee to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for all. That free from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence. Evermore praising thee and worthy thee, O God everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, we pray thee to look down on and accept as a channel of these offerings. And with thy Holy Spirit and Lord to bless, approve, and left by them, that they may become for us the most precious body and blood of thy Son, who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with his eyes lifted up to heaven, and to thee, God, his own mighty Father, giving thanks to thee, he blessed, break, and gave it to his disciples, saying, and we feel all this. For this is my body. In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks unto thee, he blessed it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. As often as you shall do these things, we shall do them in remembrance of me. Thy humble servants bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, 
to offer unto thee this the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon me, in token of our love and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee. And we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our relation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him who, as the eternal high priest, forever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servant and ministers at this altar that meekly celebrate the ministries of the most holy body and blood of thy Son, who may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray that to sanctify thy people here present with these thy heavenly gifts, and through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son. For we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things both in heaven and earth. With him, as the indwelling life, do all things exist, and in him, as the transcendent glory, all things live and move and have their being. To whom with the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honor and glory throughout the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by the words of sacred scripture and following the tradition of Holy Church from of old, we now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Here we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and heartfelt thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother, and in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world who have been the choice vessel of thy grace and the shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow of love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet on one and indivisible in token of thy great sacrifice, we break this thy heart, praying that by this action, ordained from the Lord, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one to the Father. Amen. Thou who in this adorable sacrament hast left us a living memorial and pledge of thy marvelous love for mankind, and dost therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee, grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, and that being filled with a high endeavor, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence 
and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold him and rejoicing in his glory be made light unto him. Then shall his true disciples be brought by him with exceeding joy before the presence of his Father's glory. Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> we who have been refreshed with thy heavenly gifts, we pray thee, O Lord, that thy grace may be so grafted inwardly in our hearts that we may continually be made manifest in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Ye take me silence and pride. The peace of God which passeth all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Christ our Lord, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Ones whose pupils you aspire to become show you the light you seek, give you the strong aid of their compassion and their wisdom. There is a peace that passeth all understanding and abides in the hearts of those who live in eternal. There is a power that maketh all things new. It lives and moves in those who know the self as one. May that peace brood over you, that power uproot you, until you stand where the one initiator is invoked, till you see his star shine forth. Amen. Amen. Amen.